Hi guys, are you here with another video for Blender? In this one, I'm going to show you how to render this Mac in Eevee using definitely Eevee materials from Kitops. It's a separate plugin for Kitops, both created by Chip Walters and amazing stuff. Okay, so I had a um, discussion with Chip recently and he showed me a lot of stuff regarding Eevee and his material pack and Kitops, and I get a bit of a deeper understanding of, you know, um, how it should be done. So I want to share a few things with you. And this Mac is actually going to be um, one of the Macs for the upcoming course, Blender Bros course that we're preparing with Josh Gambrell. And we're going to have two Macs, right? But in the course, we are actually using uh, regular materials from uh, via hard ops. And we are rendering, I'm rendering this Mac in cycles. And, you know, there are videos in the course, it's like a one hour video that shows the rendering process. But most, you know, I'm talking a lot about um, how to uh, how to set camera angles uh, or why am I choosing certain framing. So it's not just rendering process because rendering is, you know, you can look it up on the internet. But I'm mostly talking about the reasoning behind behind my scene setup, lighting, etc. Right, and then there is another video which is uh, a time lapse, but it's a it's a very slow time lapse. It's on the speed is on it, you know, doubled. I mean, times two, and with a detailed voiceover. Uh, and this video shows the compositing of uh, of a render into an image. So you know, I'm gonna give you the tips. I'm gonna give you all the stuff that you need and you can play with it. By the way, this video is a bit different because in this one, we're going to be using a plugin for Kitops and we're going to be rendering an EV. Okay. So let's get started. All right, guys. So we, we are, uh, back in a, in a, you know, the, the pre-texturing state. This is, this, this is the Mac actually that you're going to be, uh, creating in the course and that's the texturing for it. Um, so, and also the rendering setup. So this is a bit of a, you know, sneak preview for you, but, um, I'm going to remove all this junk and the floor as well. So let's remove this one too, so you can see, you know, how everything is done. Yeah. And also I'm going to remove this camera because I don't need it. I'm going to keep this one, but I would already actually need it too. So let's remove it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to change materials on this one to uh, to the EV materials, okay, on the entire Mac. So let's get started. So let's start with the head. And let's go to uh, end panel and kit ups. Now you can access these materials through um, through the hard ups menu, right? So you could actually go here, press Q. And by the way, let me just enable the screencast key so you know what I'm doing. You could go here with Q and go to Asset Loader. But I'll be honest, man, I, I'm not too keen on the Asset Loader menu. It's, it's a little bit too, you know, too tight for me. I, I, I like something a bit more, you know, I like to see things um, at a glance, you know, like everything at the same time. It's just this menu is a bit too nerdy for me, okay? So I'm, I'm not really crazy about this menu. So I'm going to be using the traditional KitOps menu here. But you know, it's it's a it's a personal preference, really. So you see, I like I like to see all these masks like that, you know. And uh, when I click on the material, for example, a metal, you know, I can see them uh, all of them in in a uh, in a group, which is you know in one page, which is what I want. So anyway, uh, we're going to go to other, and let's grab this grime and literally apply material now. Because we have auto scale selected in in Kitops, right? This material is gonna uh, be automatically scaled to to what we have in a scene. So we do, literally you don't have to do anything with it, right? Now we're going to tweak this a little bit because you know uh, this is a bit boring, right? We're going to go to um, Dirty Up and grab Dirty Up two and add Insert, right? And let's try to add this. Okay, and we're gonna move this in here, right? And we're going to go to sh 
shader editor and we're gonna grab this node okay from dirty app so control c and select this material and control v and we're gonna plug it in here but i want to show you how it looks okay so let's grab this piece in here and let's drop this node in here and now we get this dirt going up you know up this uh, element right so from the bottom to the top now we can adjust it okay so we can play with the density of this dirt okay so dirt height for example you can hold shift to make it a bit more you know refined you can adjust the amount of dirt right you can make it a bit less less or more pronounced we're gonna change color on this decal uh, you know we are the here so let's do this and let's find this decal bsdf node click on this material here click on the color picker and bob janko finished we're done so that's that and let's see how looking we're looking pretty good we could do this you know we could make this a little bit more bright but we can do this later now the the neck you know this one right should be some of a different color so uh, let's um, maybe go to other again and let's pick up this bluish grime okay and add material uh, not this one actually you know what we can add to both of them so we got two months going on in here now and we're gonna do the same thing so we're simply going to zoom out and control V grab this note and drop it in here and go here and control V and drop it in here now each of these materials you can be adjusted separately okay so this is important right so you know we can leave it like this it's cool um, this one you know you can by the way you can play with all kinds of parameters here you know roughness etc right so let's say that you wanted to adjust something you can adjust color in here okay you can turn off and on this texture um, then you can you know adjust roughness okay you know to, to do whatever value you want you can turn the uh, roughness on and off okay so you can make it a hold shift you can make it a bit less and more reflective right which is pretty cool and uh, so there's a lot of settings in here that you can use uh, the same as a bump you can make it more or less pronounced and you can change scale of the bumps right you can even make it more uh, punchy so let's go for example to this yellow uh, texture uh, and you know let's you can make it a bit more a bit more punchy right see what i mean so you can play with it it's pretty cool okay so um i think the vents could be also yellow so let's just simply in fact let's grab a new one okay so let's not be lazy let's apply uh, the material here and let's grab this dirty note and drop it in here it looks all right i think we should go a little bit higher now you see you cannot go to the very top there's like a bit missing here right so you can jump here and type 99 and this will gonna go all the way up and then um, you could decrease the amount of this dirt you know make it a little bit less dirty you know these are vents so they could you know shouldn't be too clean and that's fine um this also could be yellow but to be honest would be probably too much um these could be yellow you know could be but not necessarily they have to be yellow but they could be um now let's add another steel so let's add another steel here let's go to metals and let's go to still steel distress and add material and let's see this right we're gonna make it a bit darker here because it's you know way too let's add some dirt by the way cool and we're gonna make this dark okay so let's uh you know contrast this a bit right and make this you know just still a bit darker yeah something like that there you go and we're gonna adjust these decals because you see that they don't fit right so we're gonna grab this and simply you know do this manually unfortunately you gotta do this manually it, it, it will not work with uh, the d menu from deco machine i had a chat with machine yesterday and he said you know i don't think that 
you can do this via Python menu, I mean Python coding, so probably gonna have to do it manually. So you know nothing can be nothing can be done about that, but um we can adjust it manually so it's okay. These ones too, you know, I'll probably I would uh, match this color a bit better. There you go. So that looks pretty cool. This one as well I think could be matched a bit better. So same situation. It's a little bit too, you know, too shiny and too there you go. That's better, right? The front uh, we could drop another grime here, so other come on. And let's go with grime too. So add material. And let's let's drop a dirt and I think these are fine. We could actually adjust these, you know, these because I think these are a little bit too bright on the sides. So simply adjust the uh, color one more time. If you double click on the on the decal, you're gonna select all of them. They mirrored, so there you go. That's better. How we looking from the front? Looking pretty good. Okay. So now you know these eyes could be also uh, I don't know maybe maybe this dirty steel. This probably could work. Uh, so we could copy material, right? Just. Uh, select this lid and this one and simply go here and copy mats right now the problem is here that you can see that uh, um, b because this dirt goes from the bottom to the top uh, the very top of this one is going to be a bit bright yeah so maybe not ideal maybe you could actually apply a separate material here so let's maybe remove this and let's apply let's apply grime one maybe you know see how it looks this one is of a wrong color, so we need to switch it, you know, the color to something different, maybe maybe something like this, and make it really dark. Hmm, are we looking? I think it's the color of this material. Hmm. Not sure about this one. Maybe we're gonna go with the blue one, or maybe even the uh, the neutral one. Probably gonna be a better solution. And let's drop a dirt here. So, control V. Come on. Control. Really no. Let's copy this again. Control C. And. Control V. How are we looking? Mm. That's better. And this one could be could be steel. So what we could do is there's a bit inside as well. I think this one should be actually either blue or uh, grime too. But we could um, yeah we could grab a grime too. That's fine. To the middle part right or make it the bluish you know bluish part so we could actually make it bluish so grab this inner part select this one and copy this right maybe it's gonna be a bit better and this one could be to be honest the same as this or we could have a steel or something but this one will do right perfect okay there's a decal here on the side so it's fine well, we could match it a bit. Let's see. There we go. And Bob Jonkel. So now let's see here. Um, this one is a little bit, a little bit too clean for my liking. This one. We could add a dirty, a dirty from the top as well. So let's select this item and go to dirty and go dirty down and add insert there we go move it somewhere here grab this node copy this now go to this material this one right 
and what we could do here is insert it here right interesting let's see this amount let's try it to zero and see what's gonna happen oh, I took over the color but that's cool uh, let's turn the amount of up and also let's change the color here to something a bit more bluish and then turn the amount up right let me see this There we go. That will work. Now this one should be steel. Let's, by the way, let's save this. So I'm going to save it as uh, YouTube. Okay. So now here we're going to add some metal. So let's go with steel in distress and add it to this element and of course dirty up everything is fine Gucci we need to reapply this decal for sure because reasons so let's grab this and reapply this and make it darker maybe you know something like that there you go that fits and also we could make the interior of this uh, decal darker so press um, D Go to decal machine D shift and then you can change the uh, uh make it make it even darker so that's pretty cool. These buggers inside could be actually yellow. Um this could be interesting. So let's try this. Shall we go to other and this one and, and material? And then we're going to grab this node, the dirty up, and grab it and click on these middle parts and control V and drop it in here we can play with this we definitely need to make it you know really dirty so 99 cover the whole thing right and then just drop the amount a little bit to something like this so it kind of stands out but you can see it's dirty um, so that's that uh, let's see this could be this could be still in distress a little bit brighter so in fact you know we could just uh, copy this from here so don't have to get too fancy now you see that it goes from left to right and the reason for it is that because it's rotated right so control a and rotation apply rotation and everything is good then select double click these um, decals and simply choose the color and if it doesn't work you can always make it darker so um these that's rubber that's fine these could be actually yellow you know just for the hell of it so what we could do is simply um add another grime like this one so add material here and add this dirty note right and drop it in here and make it really dirty like this this one is rotated you see so we need to apply rotation. I'm not sure if this is gonna mess mess up the. Um, that's what I'm worried about. So maybe from this one we're gonna remove it. You know. Unless wait a minute. Because like I can't rotate this one because it's assigned to the cable. Unless I'm going to apply. Um, you know what I could do is I could actually apply all the modifiers right. So it's multiply. And I think now I could do this also. Yeah, right. So now probably would work. So let's see rotation. Ah, uh, see, it's going to mess up the cable. So how about we're going to apply all the modifiers here. So convert geo to mesh. Right. And this is going to mess up this one, you see. Hmm. I'm going to have to apply this too. So operation smart apply. and control a visual to mesh 
And now this should work. I hope. That's not what I wanted to do. Um, play rotation. There you go. Now it goes from the bottom to the top, which is what I wanted. And well, we could just increase the uh, uh, the amount of dirt and make it 99. So you know, cover the whole thing, and then simply uh, change the amount. Make it a little bit less crazy, right? Something like that. So this would work. Uh, all these could be simply. Uh, where is it? This one, this one, this one, and this one. All these could be just a steel, you know, from here. So we could just copy this mod uh, this material. This one. All right. That works. What happened in here? Mirror got uh, removed or something. There you go. Okay, that works. Now these buggers. Uh, what we need to do is uh, could actually also use steel. So select this material and select this piece and copy mat. This will ruin our day in terms of emissions. So we need to reapply this. Go to edit mode. I already have these selected inside. So if you don't, you need to select them. And assign. There you go. And our globe is back. Cool. Now let's take care of this one. So we need to recall the neck bits. And I think we're going to make this. Mm. You know, let's tackle this one first. Yeah, so let's grab this one as a material. And we're gonna have to make it a bit more dirty. So, because it's too clean. So drop it in here. And then we're going to move it up. So scale it. In fact, we could scale it to the maximum. And even leave the amount um you know something like this this would do and this one could be that steel right the one in the middle could be actually yellow because why not how this will look Um, I'm not sure. We'll think about it later. This one could be the same as this. Not a big problem. We're going to have to apply the modifiers here too. So, smart apply. And probably apply rotation. So it goes from bottom to top. Um, these decals here, they're going to have to be applied. So, we need to go here and... I'll select the background. These are fine. There we go. This one could be grime as well, or uh, this could be steel actually. So metal. And let's add this. This could work. And this one actually could be the same. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to copy this. And this one, in fact, could be the same. And let me see this. That will do. And this one could be grime the blue one so we're gonna sign a separate one okay so because you want to control them separately right so same material same material and this could actually be yellow too 
or dark, you know. Or just blue as well, it's fine. Now let's let's think about it. So let's control V this and drop a dirty up here. Is this dirty down or dirty up? This is dirty up. So this would need to have an apply rotation. Let's see what's gonna happen if I do apply the rotation. There you go, it goes up. And that's cool. And this one. Control V. That's cool. And this one, Control V. This one should be a, a reverted. So I mean reversed. So a part rotation is gonna go from the top to bottom. And if it doesn't, I'm gonna grab this one as well. So copy this and you know paste it in here. So I'm gonna move them and simply. Um, one more time. Copy this one and click on this one and control V and come on. Drop it in here. There you go. Cool. These could be actually dark and same. And we're gonna lose the lights, so we need to retrieve them. So add emission and emission and assign. Not this emission. This emission. And here the same. So plus and emission assign. There you go. Cool. These could be the ones in the middle. They could be. Um, uh, they actually could be dirty steel, you know. This one. Or steel in distress, whatever it's called. This one's a bit too clean for my liking. So, what I'm going to do is actually make it a bit darker. So, let's go here and, you know, play with, uh, with the. There you go with these uh, curves a bit because it's a bit too, you know, these are legs that should be dirty, right? Play with the curves. Here too, we could make it a bit dark, I know, so something like this. Pretty cool. These, pi these pistons should be um, this grime, I mean, this steel, and then we need to um, make sure that these match. There you go, that's better. And now the spine could be blue so you know what I mean either blue or yellow either or either one fits I think there you go that's the way to go and these cables could be either yellow or you know what Let's hide the nets for a second. Let me see that. Yeah, let's grab these pipes. Although pipes look good because pipes could be yellow, you know what I mean? This actually could look pretty awesome. Let's try this, shall we? The only problem is this grime, yellow grime, should be, or even we could leave rubber, but uh, where is it? It's rubber, right? Wait a minute. Oh no, it's just a BSDF. Right, I'll tell you what. Let's select this one and copy. No, not copy. Let's make a new one. So, um, let's go to... Yeah, it's under other, I think. And rubber and simply add material. And what we're going to do is we're going to change it from uh, black to kind of like a yellow. And then select all these and copy this right so and then we're gonna go with dirty up and there you go you got your dirty cables now um that's all fine we're gonna probably gonna have to grab the other one as well this one is dirty up so we need to um grab the dirty down 
So, dirty up four. Are we using which one? We're using dirty up four, so we need to use dirty up this one too, right? Or one. Select these and simply inject it in here. So, just drop it in here. How are we looking? We're looking good. We need to decrease the amount of this dirt a little bit so this yellow pops, you know, on the edges, right? There you go. So the dirty, but not, you know. Let's save this and let's bring the cables, right? Now the cables should be of a different color. Let's make them darker. So let's grab. Uh, Let's maybe wait a minute. There we go. Let's grab this dirty steel again or steel in distress. So let's go to metal and steel distress. Add material. And let me see how I'm looking. Yeah, we're looking pretty good. We're looking pretty good. These are a little bit too, you know, too happy. Yeah. These are a bit too happy. Um. Hmm. Could make it darker, but. Okay, so how are we looking? Right, now these buggers, right? Um, also the feet, they need to be really dark, so... This one doesn't look like it has a bevel on it. This one too. Let me see this. There's a bevel. Fascinating. So let's add the blue one, and, you know, dirty up this guy, and let's see how we're looking. We're looking good. Let's make it more, you know, more pronounced and far more dirty. There we go. Um, this actually could be the same, to be honest. Or this could be even yellow, you know, like this. Let's see how it's going to look. Ha, <laughs> it's pretty cool. So, um, the only thing is that... Yeah, this this should have a different, uh, you know, separate mod to it. So let's let's do it properly. So let's select both, you know. Right, and let's go to grime and this one. Okay, and then make this a bit dirtier. Much more dirty. So ninety nine. Go to the to the top. There you go. Okay, let's go with... I'm going to make it much more dark. Even dark. There you go. That's going to fix this. And this should do. Now, these could be the same as these. Okay, that's cool. And in fact, this could be the same as this. Although, this could be all made of steel, like this one. Same as all these handles, right? All these metal bars uh, over here. So. There's one here, and there's one, there's a piston here, and there's one more underneath, right? So select this, and let's just drop the same map. Perfect. And there's one more on the gun. So, same story. Actually, there's one on the gun, could be yellow. Yep, it fits. Now these buggers, 
We could try yellow, but I don't know. Should be separate material. Let's apply the rotation mm, of this one. That's a bit better. And yeah, this definitely needs some work. There you go. Give it too dark. Mm, that's good. <clears throat> this could be a little bit more blend in or blended in. There you go. Some of these ones, you know. Could be just, uh, we could use the same material, so we could just use this to blend them a bit more. Alright. Uh, let me see this. Maybe it's a little bit too heavy here. Let me see this. There you go. Maybe it's a bit too much, you know. Same here in the bottom. Maybe just a bit less. Something like that. Cool. So this is done. This is done. I think we're done. So that was texturing, guys. Oh, yes. This piece, too. This needs to be yellow. That's important. Boom. All right. These two blacks could be yellow, too, but quite frankly, I'm just going to leave them black. That's fine. The inserts in the middle here, I think. And they're not being... Oh, they are. They could be yellow, too. Um, and they also need rotation, I think. You see this? Yeah, see, they need rotation, so... Let's just rotate them. There you go. In fact, I'm probably going to assign a separate color in here. So, let's remove this and add material. And a dirty node to it. Bring it all the way up. And reduce the amount a bit. Yep, that will do. Okay. Well, the top is the last one, so this could be just a steel, to be honest. You know, both of them really. Um, just to steal. So apply that. And these two decals could be matched. It's a bit too bright, so... D shift and... Yeah, this will do. How are we looking? There's one more thing I want to do is to slide on the gun here, so the small bit, there you go. I need to enable this here, so so chamfer this a little bit and apply the emission. There you go. So now there's a light on both sides of the gun. Which is cool. Save. We could add some text in here as well. Let's say AR or something. That will do. And let's just project it. I'm not gonna be copying to the other side, it's gonna be bothered, but um Let's maybe reduce the saturation and make it a bit darker. Right? It's too, too bright. This is too bright. So. Oh, let's just copy this. Fine. X to reset the mirror and then. Select this piece and flip the U. Should be good. Yep. Okay. So now 
I think we good. Oh yes. Tips of the gun could be actually yellow just for fun. I don't know if it's a good idea, but I think it's pretty cool. Maybe it's gonna pull too much attention, I don't know. Maybe this one's gonna be better. The one in the middle could be steel or you know this actually could be oh wait, 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 I just did something did something bad here. There you go, that's what I wanted. Uh, I wanted to select the one in the side. This one. And make it, you know, it's kind of a steel. Or we could just simply add a new material to it. So let's go to metal and steel distress, add material. All right. Just leave it as is. I'm not crazy about these, so I'm just going to switch them to grime. There we go. Now this guy needs some attention too, so... Um, this one and this one should be maybe blue. Uh, not this one. This one. All right. So that's that, and this one could be actually maybe even yellow or just dark, you know. But yellow could be interesting. See that? Hmm. Yeah, why not? Why not? Why not? Let's enjoy our life. And this one could be just you know traditional. And let's. Let's match this, and let's, you know, let's make it darker, not here, D match it, D and shift, oh really, that'll do, okay, that's pretty cool, I think. How are we looking? Yeah, looking pretty good. Looking pretty good. So let's grab these two and hide them to backup. Let's save this. Yeah. So let's grab this and do one more time. yep okay and then we got this interior here right so grab all these and simply grab the steel or you know what yellow could be interesting uh no That's better. Okay, how are we looking? This one could be yellow. Yep. No, it makes him look weak. That's better. Okay, guys. So, let's save this. And, you know, we can start adding backgrounds and stuff, okay? Alright guys, so let's grab a floor, right? It's a plane. And let's drop it down and let's make it S20 uh, or S2. Something like that. And let's move it here. So now let's add some material to this floor. Um, see that. I think we're gonna go with grime. Grime, it's what is hidden. All right. Now let's go to. 
Uh, let's go to EV, right, and switch here to EV engine. All right. Let's switch to world. Let's see what we got here. Okay. Let's make this 0 0.2 or even 0 0.1. Okay. Cool. Now let's add volumetrics. So shader, principal volume. Let's plug it in. And switch it to, I don't know, something low. Let's grab a camera now. Let's try to position the camera. So let's see. I need to see this view to let me let me just get rid of all these all these things. Let me see this. Let me just increase this for a second. I got a shader uh, on my second screen, so it's easier to do it this way. Uh, I want to just grab a good, you know, good angle here, like a, from a from a lower angle maybe more aggressive lock to view or we could just go for the same you know look as is in the thumbnail so somewhere here that works for me too so cam to view now what we will need to do is uh, change the focal length i'm going to be doing this with uh, with machine tools and look from the view let's bring it a bit closer come on control zero I want to align this with the camera with a view. There we go. And now let's uh, move this in here a little bit closer. And now we can lock it to view. There we go. Now we can align this properly, right? Something like this would do, you know. Although I prefer this face to be a little bit, I don't know. Will this work? This could work so I can actually see the second engine of the gun. Uh, Maybe something like this. Closer here. This would make a cool thumbnail, no? So let's let's settle for this, yeah. So let's unlock from the view, and now we can start, you know, uh, start adding lights. But before we do that, I'm gonna change the strength of the. Um, you can probably see the feedback in here. It's easier for me to see on the other screen, but I'm gonna change the strength of this one to zero point two. And now we're going to start adding lights, I think. Um, so let's see. Let's add. A, let's add a point light. And let's add it somewhere behind here. And maybe a little bit higher. So we're going to have like a separation light. Now let's pump it up. So let's make it, I don't know. 40,000 okay and we need to add some settings to EV so we need to make it higher quality so ambient occlusion let's change it to maybe 5 meters um, maybe this is too much maybe 4 and let me see this bloom that's fine depth of field later um, screen space refractions, refractions, volumetrics, right? Quality, all the quality of volumetrics, sample 64, volumetric shadows for sure. Samples, let's make it 20 or even higher. Uh, we can make it 40. And performance, higher shadows, high bitrate shadows. Simplify freestyle. Okay, now we want contact shadows on the light. I'm not sure yet what's the uh, what's the distance, but I don't want it to spill on the floor. You see, this this will do because if I spill it on the floor, it's gonna reflect. Yeah. So where is the camera anyway? Also, where is the light? Let's move the light to new collection and call it uh, new render. All right, so uh, let's close all these. New render, there we go. I'm gonna hide this one and camera. 
uh, put it in new render as well so we can easily manipulate between this you know things so the light needs to move right it's too uh it's too much should be somewhere should be somewhere there this would do we're gonna change the color of it to something a bit warmer not too warm but something warmer this would do and then we need another light from from the front right so in fact we probably need two more lights i'm gonna grab a spotlight and uh, move it somewhere here go to the left and view and you know align it here and make it a bit longer and change the cone where is it not here um not custom distance uh this one am i adjusting the right thing where is it here that's what i want um and also i want this to blend a bit better also we need more power so let's say 60,000. Now let's see how we're looking. This light needs to be stronger than the other one because it's a key light, right? So, although key light can be stronger than the uh, main light, it's fine. Depends how you set it up. Let's move it on X to this side, see how we're looking. Let's rotate it on X and move it a little bit higher so it's from the top. And let's just keep moving this until we get to an interesting point. This is an interesting point looking good now we want a uh, custom distance definitely because you don't want it to spill so much on the chest here you see now you can regulate how far this light spills and this is really important because you don't want it to go too deep right this bit is annoying this reflection here so i don't know how we're gonna tackle this um, it's a bit tough to be honest um, i could move it a bit to the left i mean right it disappears but then i would need two lights on him so I might actually remove this in Photoshop, you know. Might actually do this one, so. Or move it a bit to the front, you know. So, um, rotate it a bit more here and and, uh, so, and drop it down. All right, so rotate it here and drop it a bit down. And then uh, grab this one, right, and duplicate it and move it to the top, yeah. Now let's see how we're looking. Now the second point light, where is it? That's behind this one. How are we looking here? I don't want this top to be brighter than the face. Yeah, the face is also this should be in my opinion a little bit more from this side. So X and R Z and rotate the other way, see like this. You know, this would be good. See what I mean? So this make is actually nicely lit. I want some light underneath here, so I might actually duplicate this light, bring it down, rotate it on X up like this, and um, drop the cone, uh, this one, right, to something really small, to illuminate the jaw, you see what I mean? Here, this, this bit, right? And drop the power to maybe like 30,000, or even 20,000, so uh, not 200, 20. So I only got um, a hint of light on this or on this area. Okay, so move this light to new render. So when I switch it on and off, you can see the difference, right? It's just a hint of light here, and this should do. How are we looking in the camera? We're looking pretty decent. Now let's set up a depth of field, and we're gonna set it up on this uh, main main piece and we're gonna go really low so maybe something like this and now we need to set the volumetrics uh, in fact this is a little bit probably a little bit too too crazy maybe not so crazy maybe let's go with one or 0 0.6 or 0 0.4 0 0.4 could work and now let me think let's drop another node in here it's gonna be um, 
light path. This should improve the shadow a little, shadows a little bit. So let me just connect it on the other screen because I can't bloody see. I'm gonna connect the top in camera ray to strength, and this is going to this is a little bit too crazy maybe. It's a bit maybe too crazy. Let's go to compositing and have fun in here. So. We don't need the noise, definitely. What we need is glare with set to ghost to get these nice flares. And we need some colors. So uh, let's go with a color balance. We could go with like a nice kind of yellowish a little bit. I'm gonna set it up later anyway. So let's move these here. And uh, we need some noise, so let's go to the texture and add a default noise texture. Blend noise, there we go. And let's add texture here. And change it to noise. Am I looking at the right thing? Yeah, noise texture. Let's blur this, so filter blur. Yes, I think Gaussian and let's set it to fast Gaussian and then let's create another node here. Oh, uh, a mixed shader and combine these two. So change it to color dodge and combine these two. And let's uh, make a render now, because once you render, you can actually adjust it. You adjust the settings in the compositor without having to render this again. All I need to do is just render it once and it updates live, which is really cool. So I'll catch in a few guys. All right, now we need to fix this mess, yeah? So. Now I need to fix this uh, uh, this glow. I'm going to bring it to the other side, guys, because I can't see. Um, I'll show you the the result. What I'm what I'm doing now is I'm trying to fix uh, I'm trying to fix this uh, this spell to get this the ghosting, and I'm trying to fix it with with these sliders. Okay, so I'm just gonna uh, adjust the threshold. I think to something a bit smaller, maybe and. Okay, let's try to render this. See what we're gonna get. Oops, not this one. Hmm. Not too terrible. We need to fix a, f a few things. We need to fix the lighting. And there's too much spill in here. This angle is not so good, so we need to fix this a bit. So, let me see this. Um, let me still work on these, um, these flares here. Let's go to layout and fix these lights, shall we? So let's let's actually maybe make this cone larger like this. It's gonna spill on a gun. That's something I don't want to happen. Um, also, this light I think is is a little bit too crazy. How about we want to move it a little bit over there? Hmm. I'll bring it closer and make it less crazy, like for example, 20,000, right? Something like this. But that's now it's stronger than this one, so let's make it 5,000. There you go. And now this one should be definitely from the front. So let's let's bring it down and, you know, bring it up here and Move it, move it here and a little bit lower, right? And make this cone larger. There you go, how are we looking now? 
we're looking pretty good we're looking pretty good actually we're looking pretty good so let's try to render this one there's not a cone in here which kind of annoys me but if i remove this i think we're gonna be fine so let's remove this one Ah, oh, it's not actually direct light it's simply an illusion in EV here okay so what i'm gonna do when i'm, I'm gonna just re-render this very quickly i thought that this is a light spill but it's not actually yeah this spill on this other gun is just not good we're gonna have to fix this okay so let's see let's grab this other light where is it this one and move it somewhere else maybe and probably make it a bit less aggressive maybe 30,000 something like this there's a lot of spill in the back here on these cables Okay, now let's play with volumetrics a bit. Let's see what we're gonna get. Let's make it a bit darker. Let's see what this is gonna produce. This light should be much more strong. I mean, not this one, sorry. This one actually can turn off. Uh, but this one, this should be definitely stronger, like maybe 10,000 or even more than that. It's spilling a lot in here, which is not something I like. I could, flagging this would be difficult too. Mm, that's a tough one. That's a tough one. I could flag this from this side, so... I don't know if it's gonna work though, but move it in here and move it lower. There you go. Now it's flagged. Let's see if this is gonna work. So let's flag this a bit more so it doesn't spill so much. There you go. Now you're talking. Oh, this could work so now what we need to do is uh, grab this uh, another plane in fact what we're gonna do is gonna grab a plane or even better grab a, a cylinder make it uh, 100 verts and okay mm, let's scale this Scale this so S100. Scale it down S20. And what we can do is remove the top and the bottom and remove these faces, right? And we can scale it even more and make it pitch black. So at color, I mean material. And we're gonna make it totally black and non metallic and rough. So it's gonna absorb all the light. Yeah. That's the trick. And grab the camera, which is here. Now, where is it? Here. How are we looking now? Oh, let's try this now, guys. Let's render this. We need another light. Okay. So let's grab this light, 
Where is it? This one. And we're going to put it somewhere here. I'm going to put it really close to the mic, okay? So, somewhere here. It's a light 4. So, let's go to the camera. And now, let's move the light 4. There we go. So, light 4. Now, let's operate with it a little bit. That should do. You don't want to put too much attention on this gun on the bottom. Something like this could do actually. Wait a minute. We just need a separation. This one should be a bit stronger, yeah. Let's make it uh, thirteen thousand. Yep. And move it l actually a bit to the front. So this one. Select the light. And the plane, and move them on X. Sorry, on Y, and a little bit down. Ah, this will not work. How about we're gonna move them on this? Nope. Yeah, I think this is actually the, this is this is as far as we can go with this. So there you go. Okay, let's try to render this again. There's a highlight in here, but uh, we can remove this by simply moving the camera in a bit. Or uh, reframing it. So we could just move a little bit closer, just a tiny bit closer with the camera. It's going to change the framing a bit, but let's see that. You know, just a tiny bit closer, yeah. Somewhere here. This is a bit too strong comparing to this one. This should be stronger, you know. I might actually add another light. Because this face is not uh, not not lit enough. I just I need more juice over there. So let's grab this cone and bring it in here and do something like this. And change the power here to 7000 maybe. Yeah, this is not bad, but the volumetrics are a bit too strong now because uh, we are encroaching on the uh, on the whole mic. Also, the bottom is a bit too bright here. So here what we're gonna do. Also, this shadow is nasty. What is it? What is casting this shadow? This one. This one needs to be here. There we go. Now. That light from the bottom here, where is it? Right, there needs to be a flag over there. Let's grab this one and we need to flag this here. So shift D, move this flag here and rotate it and bring it a bit down. Where is this light? Here. We need to flag this, so uh, make it a bit larger and flag this area. Let's see how we're looking now. Let's grab a camera. And yeah, see now this is darker, yeah? Perfect. So this is good. Um, do we want this brighter? Nope. Oh, this could work actually. This one needs to be the brightest point here, yeah. so whatever we do. So let's grab the, uh, uh, where's this light? This one. Let's move it to new render. 
make it a bit longer change the cone a bit let's see if we can change the cone of this one not this one uh this one i'm gonna get this shit on the other side right yeah okay that's fine that's fine and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut the volumetrics a bit yeah so start at let's say 20 meters uh, let's say 30 meters, I mean 40 meters. Or oh, even 50. Let's try to render this. Yeah, now it's still washed out. So what we're going to do is going to try to add some contrast. Let's, uh, let's go to compositing. Select these two. In fact, that will do. And let's go to... We could go actually with the RGB curve and simply, you know, bump it a bit. Let's see what this will do. Now that looks pretty cool. I, st I still think we have a little bit too much of the of the grain. Could be a bit more. It could be a bit less. So I'm just gonna slide it to the side and I'm gonna play with the the factor here. Yeah, something like this could do, you know. The only problem now is that you can see that uh, this area competes with the face, which is not the ideal thing. So I'll probably need to put a bit more either power on the face, more light, or simply um, deduct some power from, from this top here, right? So when I go to layout, you see this, this area is a bit too bright, right? So if I zoom out, which, which light is it? This one, right? So if I remove it, right. So I'm gonna make it a bit weaker, yeah? So I'm gonna drop this point light to maybe 3000. Make it a bit less crazy. And maybe we do need to move this one a bit to this side, you know, here make it a bit smaller right and angle it you know and also we need a distance here because there's too much spill on the on the bottom you see here just let's control it a bit this should do I think this is pretty cool I can live with this one so let's try to render this again and see what we get it takes time you can't rush it because if you rush it you're gonna end up with junk it really has to you know you gotta take your time with it Okay, these things do not happen in two seconds. And setting random lights or using plugins will teach you fuck all. You need to, you know, you need to play with this thing yourself and understand how light works. And, you know, like you see now, now we got another problem. There's a massive flare on the gun and it, this is going to pull all the attention and this is the last thing we want. So we need to move the lights again. And we could uh, technically, technically this plane is actually getting into the image, so we need to, we need to remove it from the image. Without actually the slide, we can remove it in Photoshop too, you know, because I really want this gun to be obstructed from this, from the slide. Now this is still too strong, yeah. So what we could do, we could actually increase the power of this light, okay? Let's say to twenty thousand, not two hundred. 20. There you go. And this should be stronger now here. All right. Yep, this one is still strong, man. I think this one is still too strong. Let me see this. Uh, 
It's this one, right? No. It's this one. Let's make this 2500. Alright. Okay, now let's try try this again. How about we're gonna turn the spotlight? What's gonna happen? Almost nothing. How about we're gonna go to the original plan? Spotlight from here. Really strong and very focused. And we're going to blend it a little bit better, so. And then increase the power to, I don't know, 60,000. Or even 70,000. But then we're gonna get this nasty highlight here, right? And we're gonna be losing a lot of form uh, because of this. But we could try this, yeah? We could try this. It could be. Now, this. The way it looks here is a little bit different because we added a contrasting compositor, so it gets bumped after it gets um, rendered, right? So. There you go, see, it just pumps, punches in. Now, this is beautiful. Yeah, this is beautiful. The face is well lit. I, I'm not crazy about this cone here, but, you know, um, it's cool. We could actually um, maybe clone this light. This still is getting hot, hotlined here, you know, still getting hotlined. I'm going to still fiddle with this because I'm still not happy, guys. Literally, I'm not happy. What is what is going on here? I think this one is too short. So, S, Z, and make it longer. So, it doesn't actually hotline this thing. Good. And now, this thing's going to be really, you know, causing me grief. So, what I could do is um, make it simply larger, you know. So, make the, make the cone... Uh, make, make the cone larger, you know, size, like this, or even like this, see what's going to happen, we're going to twist this cone a bit down, it's going to be more interesting, so what we're going to do is we're going to do this, wait, this is pretty cool though, but what we're going to do, we're going to do this, and let's see if we can actually adjust the distance, so it doesn't spill so much on the bot, yeah. Let's try this now. The The left side might be a bit too dark uh, of the leg. Let's see if it's not too dark. If it's pitch black, we're going to have to add another light from the... Uh, to to give a little bit of hint, you know, of the shape of the leg on the, the closest one to the camera, because if it's too dark, it's going to look uh, quite bad. I mean, it's a cinematic shot, so it could be actually pitch black or almost black, but... Um, yeah, I see like this this part, right? So let's see how it looks. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this one is a bit dark. What the hell is this? Something interesting happened. Um, it's dark, but I think that's cool because uh, the light is on the main side, so that's cool. Alright, so I think this this would work. You know, maybe a bit less crazy, this cone, something like this. I really think we should have a bit of a light in here, but you know what we could do? We could literally add a plane, right, and reflect this back. So, uh, move this plane on the x-axis and rotate it on y by 90, and make it a little bit larger, and rotate it on z, and place it somewhere here, and add some material... So, just new mat and make it br uh, white and rotate it a bit like this. Okay, and this should reflect light. Now, where is the camera? Because it cannot be in a camera view, right? It is in the camera view, so we're going to move it uh, somewhere here and rotate it on Z. And this should reflect some light back uh, into the uh, into this leg here, you know, that's what I'm concern about it's a bit maybe too much something like that 
Let's see if it's gonna work. I'm getting still this highlight in here, which really annoys me. Maybe I'm gonna move the slide a bit higher, you know. There you go. And then I can move these these planes higher too. So they're actually not in a shot. You see, there you go. That's better. Yeah, that will work. So now let's save this. And I think this is gonna be our last last render, hopefully. I'm getting some crazy reflections in camera, so I don't know if say it's a bug or let's try to render this again. Or it's just the positioning of the light that causes it. It's the ghosting um in Composer it's the ghosting um node, the one that's responsible for for a glare. Yeah, it's a bug. Now it's fine. So let, let's let's look at this. Yeah, see, now this looks pretty good. I mean, I'm not even bothered by this too much. This is okay. I'm going to remove this in Photoshop because it's actually a bit annoying. But uh, this is pretty decent. This is pretty decent. We can lift the... Um, we can lift the exposure a bit. I wonder if, I, if I'm going to be able to lift the exposure by... by simply uh, going here, going to 0 0.3... could be possible and also um, let's try to render this now see what's gonna happen should be a bit brighter because I want a bit more you know a bit brighter image so I can punch it in Photoshop you cannot adjust your HDRI too high because if it doesn't work with I mean uh, HDRI will not create proper shadows in in Eevee okay you need to use just the blender lights um, but it gives a bit of an ambient light, so it kind of like lifts the whole darkness of the image and fills all these gaps and, um, you know, there you go, see? I think it's a bit better. I think it's a bit better. Okay, we're going to go with this one. We're going to brighten this one in Photoshop. That's easy to do. And we're looking pretty good. I like it, so it's pretty cool. And we're going to change the toning in Photoshop as well, so that's not a big problem. All right, guys, so I think... Uh, I think this is it. Let's bring it to Photoshop and have some fun, shall we? So let's duplicate this layer, make it a bit brighter, yeah, because I think it's a bit too dark. We're gonna lift some shadows in here. So let's go to camera, camera raw filter, and let's lift the exposure on the whole thing, right? And then let's lift the shadows. There we go. And then what we're going to do is actually we're going to paint um, some clarity on stuff, okay? So let's grab clarity and lift the shadows on the two and actually adjust the textures up, uh, up a bit. And we're going to, you know, run some clarity on some parts, yeah? Actually, not these ones. These are blurred. So here, right? On this main piece. In fact, you know what? Let's go back. Let's, let's do it mainly on the face and then we're going to make a new brush and add some clarity and texture but uh, a little bit less, yeah. There we go. Okay, this should do. Let's run Harmonize on this one, see what we're gonna get. Could get something interesting. Oh, this one is interesting. I think I prefer it. Uh, so let's run this one, and let's go to let's go to Viveza. We're gonna just brightness of this spot, yeah. So we're gonna grab this and let's just pop the brightness on the face a bit. So we're gonna pop the brightness on the face and add some structure, All right? And actually some contrast too. So this should improve things a bit. There we go. And maybe that's too much. So let's reduce it just a little bit. There you go. And let's just actually make it larger. So let's bring it to, let's copy this. Actually, this is, turn off all these let's go back to filter and new collection and color effects pro 
Let's see if we can find some cool post processing on this one, right? Brilliance and warmth, and see what we can find in here. There's some uh, cold tones, but let's go to pros cross processing and see if we can find something cool. Some cool effects. There you go, out of the box. I'm happy with this one. I'm not gonna even fiddle with it because I like it. And then we're gonna add some contrast because reasons, right? So. This part is a bit too dark in my opinion, but uh, you know, that's cool, we can put some text in here. So this looks really nice, I like it. And let's go to Nick Collection and Color Effects Pro again. Let's get the uh, Pro Contrast on this one. Photoshop 2020 is extremely slow, I don't know what the hell is going on, but it's just, it's like Blender 2.9. This thing is garbage. Like rendering is shit. It crashes. It doesn't render certain things. It's just unbelievable. I'm about to uninstall the damn thing. So let's remove this one because we don't need it. And what we need is a pro contrast, right? So we need is this one. Mm, there you go. Let's see what we can do in here. There we go. Now you're talking. Okay, now we're gonna put a mask on it, and we're going to literally um, drop a dot in the middle here, even smaller than this, something like that. There we go. Yeah, that will do. And grab some curves. Add some contrast to add some drama. Change the luminosity so it doesn't affect saturation. And we're gonna add some vibrance. Yep. Then let's go. let's go back to camera roll. Put some vignette on it. I think we're gonna be good. actually bigger than this yeah so let's move the midpoint and change it a bit more rectangular feather this and we're good to go how are we looking yeah we're just gonna remove it from uh from this part because it's too dark yeah so there you go Beautiful. So there we go. I'm gonna leave this uh, tiny speckle of light here and just um, Can't be bothered to remove it, but this is not ideal. Yeah um, Just just we could do without this, but So let's save this now And we can add some text to it as well So let's finish it with the text shall we? That would do guys, that's, I think it looks pretty amazing. So for two hours of texturing of such a complex model and, and, and rendering, I, mean, I think this is a pretty good result. Um, quite amazing actually. So like I said, it, definitely if you materials and kit ups, this is the way to go. If you want to create quick, quick you know, quick uh, renders for your portfolio, whatever it did, look really amazing. This looks like it was, you know, textured in Substance Painter. There's literally no difference, right? So of course you have less control, but um, you know, you, you don't have to, um, you don't have to, uh, do all these crazy things like, 
UV unwrapping and all that and exporting and importing and you know it's just a hustle I think we didn't the texture this uh, this lid but that's okay anyway guys thanks for watching hope you enjoyed the vid give us a like and sub if you did there are links in the video description to all the add-ons like hard ops box cutter kit ops cableator all the add-ons that were used to create this mac this mac's gonna be um featured in the, our upcoming course that we're preparing with josh gambrell um it's gonna be two macs um, add-on workflows lots of um design talk and lots of add-on talk so you're gonna be able to learn a ton from this course right amazing uh, bonus features so you know coming soon hope you're gonna enjoy the course uh, we had great fun creating it um I, I love building max so you know hopefully uh, next year we're gonna um, create some more max uh, some cool you know war machines and stuff anyway guys thanks for watching and i catch you next video